Steven Gerrard is the new manager of Al Atifak in the Saudi Pro League. Yes. Jules, they're not one of the country's big spending clubs. That's You're a right. Bit surprised? Uh, yeah, they're, they're not owned by the PIF, like uh, like the four biggest one. Let's put it that way. They're owned by other wealthy yeah, investors, but, but they haven't not, splashed the country. I, I not would, yet, but maybe they need the manager first, and then with his vision and what he wants to do, they can go and get him the players that he wants to fit that vision. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I looked at the list of. Yeah, players, yeah looked distinctly well. um, unimpressive relative to <laughs> two other clubs. To um, the right. There's still time to catch up. I guess it's it's weird when we were when we were in the Gulf. He's got a he's got some tie up with some company out there and stuff. He was like on television all the time. He yeah. seems to have a pretty high profile there. Yeah, yeah. I do wonder about this. Like, I'm sure he's well compensated, but because he said no to them first, remember he turned them down. Yeah, and now maybe because he didn't get anything else. I just wonder, are you going to grow professionally? I, I could see maybe you would. I mean, it is an experience abroad. We've always said it's good. But are you going to grow professionally if you're at a club like that? I mean, if, if you're at, you know, Al Nasser or Al Etihad, you're working with other legends, you know, they can teach you something, I guess. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Rudy Garcia went when, the, you know, the team Al Nasser was not very good. Right. But I'm Before assuming... Cristiano and now he's in Naples. So... I'm assuming Steven Gerrard has a much, much, much bigger bank balance than Rudy Garcia. Does. I know, but still, to show you that you can still, after after Saudi, go to a top club. Oh, yeah. No, no yeah. question. More scout Saudi moves, Gabby. Roberto Firmino has been unveiled as al Hali, And there's plenty of speculation that Thiago Alcantara might be joining him out there in Saudi. Would he leave a hole at Liverpool? How do you see that he, move? So, the early indications, and look, if you put money on the table, maybe they'll change your mind. He's got a year left on his contract. Yeah. Um... I don't know how hard. I don't think Liverpool are going to give him a new one because of the injuries and and, and the and age. His age. Yeah, I think he's different to the other midfielders. Look, and I, I've had the same line about Thiago Cantaro all, all, all along, right? When they signed him, given his age and his wages, I thought, okay, you're just signing him for those specific games where the opposition parked the bus. I didn't see him as like a week in week out player because I was unlikely he's going to be fit. I think he's very different from the other midfielders they have, even. Even you know, the, the quality ones that they add in in, in, in Sabosly and McAllister, they're not really perceptive passers the way Thiago Alcantara McAllister, yeah, McAllister is. But not to a level no, of Thiago, no, no, no. right? So I I don't know. I think if Thiago decides, you know what, I'm going to stick around, uh, take a run at, at, at the Premier League and, and, and the Europa League this season, and then let's have this conversation in a year's time, I think that would be good for Liverpool. I think if he moves, I think they should think about how they might want to bring in that type of skill set yeah. because it, it, it doesn't exist. You're not going to need it every game, but there's games when you'll need it. And, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I know Trent in midfield, we'll see about that, but come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.